Hi, I'm David from TinyBird. I'm going to show how you can go from Kafka to a user-facing analytics dashboard in under five minutes. In Confluent, I have a Kafka topic with some simulated e-commerce events data, timestamp, sales, UTM source, and so on. And first, I'm going to connect Confluent to TinyBird. So in TinyBird, I'm going to create a new data source and use the native Confluent connector. I'll paste in the Bootstrap server, rename the connection to TB Confluent, and I'll go and grab my API key and my API secret. Click Next. Then I see a list of all the topics, and I'll just look for Ecom events. Click Next. I'll choose to ingest from the earliest offset, and TinyBird will go and inspect those messages and infer the schema. But I can also choose to change the data types if I want, but I'll leave the defaults for now. I'm also going to add the timestamp to the sorting key. I'll rename the data source to Ecom events and create. So I created a new data source, which is like a database table and a Kafka consumer combined into one. And just in a few seconds, it imported about 100,000 rows. And now I can actually do something with my data. So I'll create a pipe and start querying that data stream just using SQL. I'll rename the pipe to sales trend. And then in this first node, I'll open up data source and split screen and select timestamp sales. And I'm going to filter on data just from the last seven days. Run that, and I can rename the node to filter data. And with pipes, I can chain queries together. So in the second node, I will cast the timestamp to a date as TS, and I'll sum up the sales. And this way, we can get a trend of sales by day. So group by TS and order by TS. I'll rename this node to endpoint. And now that my query is complete, I can click create API endpoint select the final node, and boom, there's my API. And now in TinyBird, I can create charts over that API. So I'll create a new chart. And I can choose from several different types. Um, for this example, I'll go with an area chart. And I'll rename this to sales trend. I'll select TS as the index and total sales as the category. And there's my chart. I can apply some custom styling, uh, but I'll just leave all the defaults for now. And I can also view the code that TinyBird generates, either React or an iframe. I'll save that. And I'll copy the React code. In this other tab, I have an empty Next.js app running. So I'm going to add my charts here. I'll flip over to VS Code and create a new component file. So I'll call it Sales Trend. And I'll just paste in the code here. Then I'll import this chart into my app sales trend and then back in the browser it'll take a second to load but there's my chart so i'm going to add one more chart back in tinybird i'll create another pipe and call it utm sales and then in the node i will select utm source and sum up sales so this way we get sales by utm I'm also going to filter on data from the last seven days, just like in the other pipe. And group by UTM source. And I'll order by total sales and descending order. Rename the node. And then I can publish this pipe as an API. Now that I have an API, let's create a new chart. And this time, I'm going to pick a donut chart. Let's rename it to UTM sales. And then I'll select UTM source as the index and total sales as the category. I'm also going to show the legend. And in the styles, I'm just going to delete these two colors so I can get the default colors for um, all those different sources and save it. Copy the React code. Flip back to VS code to create that component. Call it UTM sales, paste the code, and then import it into my app. UTM sales. And back in the browser, there's my final dashboard. So to recap, I connected TinyBird to a Kafka topic, built APIs using SQL, and created two charts for a user-facing dashboard, all in under five minutes. Thanks for watching.